Hey guys, so I just finished doing my makeup. Uh, do not mind my forehead. I was out at a baseball game and I burnt because my husband didn't bring no tan. So basically what happened was, so I went to work, did a 12 hour shift, came home, showered, changed, went right to a baseball tournament, which was an hour away. I slept for like 30 minutes and the tournament started and we had back to back games and we didn't get home until like seven. So and that seven that night, took a shower, ate, went to sleep. I did not like exfoliate my skin. I didn't do anything. So my forehead is peeling really, really bad. Um, this side of my cheek is peeling and then there's like a couple of peeling spots on my arms. They itch, but if my forehead looks a little weird, that's why it's because I'm sunburned. But anyways, I just finished doing my makeup. I did not film it for you guys. Um, that you guys have been asking me for makeup tutorials. And that's just really not my thing anymore. Like I used to do them all the time. And um, you guys liked them but wasn't loving them. You tend to love my other content a lot more. So I started putting out different content like my vlogs and my nursing videos which you guys love. And then I've just now started incorporating hair videos. And you guys are like on the fence about those. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how long I'll do those. But I'm just not going to do any more makeup tutorials. I might throw in a chit chat and get ready with me every once in a while. But for the majority, um, I'm just not going to do makeup tutorials. Because they take a long time to film. A long time to edit and for that much work and it to not get that many views um it, it kind of sucks so i was talking to my husband about this as well because he was letting me vent to him about my youtube channel um and he was like but your makeup is always so pretty and you always do such a good job and i'm like but you gotta realize there's like people with like a million and two million three million followers and people don't want to look at my tutorials that are like hella basic but I will let you guys know my highlight is Fenty Beauty, Soft Glam Palette, my lips is Max Yash, and ColourPop's Lip Gloss in 9 to 5. Uh, that sums me up like. How's our benefit? But, I'm going to let y'all get into this hair real quick because that's really why I'm on here. So we can discuss this hair. I have not flat ironed my hair since December. I don't have any scissors, so I can't trim my ends because my ends need to be cut. Let's talk about this growth, okay? It is not where I want it to be. Um, I told you guys that I really want to be waist length by the end of the year. Um, and this is, of course, this is my hair before... So this is my hair before I trim my ends. Um, but like I said, I want to be waist length by the end of the year. So right now, that is my goal. Um, and I think I can do it. I just have to really take better care of my hair. Because honestly, guys, I have been slacking. Like, I don't sleep with a silk bonnet. This is the first time I slept with anything on my hair in six months. Um, <laughs> I don't wrap my hair. Um, I moisturize well before my challenge started I was probably moisturizing like once every week which is bad um, and that's probably why my hair was drying out a lot and that's probably why I have so many ends I need to cut and I am well over my six month trim so yeah it's just I just been slacking on my hair just because I'm like eh, it's just wash and go keep going but honestly the way my wash and goes look they really irk me and then there was a little troll on here and was talking about um, that's not even your real hair. You didn't part it. You wear weave. First of all, why would I rock a weave wash and go and have the back longer than the middle? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm waiting. Yeah, bro, don't try me. But second of all, honey, let's let's do some parting real quick. So so I can prove to you real quick. Part mine. Part mine. Part mine. Okay, let's do some more parting. Okay, you want to go the other way? Make sure there's no wets. Part mine. Like, please don't try me. One thing I can't stand is for a bald-headed troll to come on here and try to tell somebody that hair not real. 
Just because you bald headed don't mean everybody else bald headed and everybody else weave. But I'm telling y'all, I don't really respond to negative comments often. So most comments that are negative, I will legit just delete them, block you, won't even address it. But sometimes it be so annoying that I have to respond and I have to like, I have to come for you. All right. Um, so on a more positive note, today is my birthday and I am 30 years old. <laughs> it is uh, stressful to even say that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Um, I feel like I'm getting hella old. I felt like I had to grow up really early because I had kids very young. But I just feel like I have so much more to accomplish. And I know some of you guys are like, what, Jasmine? Like, you are a mom, you are a wife, you're a nurse. But yes, I am all of that. And I'm very proud of all those things. I absolutely love my kids. I absolutely love my husband. And they are my biggest accomplishments in this world. Like, all three of them, they are me. Um, and without them, I don't. I don't know where I'd be. Let's put it that way. Um, I wouldn't be me. Let's just let's just say that it wouldn't. This wouldn't be the Jasmine that you guys get. Okay. I have been married on Friday. I will be have. I will be married for eleven years, and I have been with him for sixteen. Come Friday, I've been with him more than half of my life. And I absolutely would not change that for the world. We have two amazing boys. And I did become a mom at a very young age. Um, I was 16 when I got pregnant and I had him at 17. And I had to grow up a lot faster than what I would like. So I didn't get a chance. Like I partied, don't get me wrong, especially living in Germany. Um... I partied, but I definitely did not get a chance to be, like, a teenager. I did not get a chance to, like, go off to college, live dorm life, um, which that was never my plan to begin with. My plans were to join the military, but I was not able to do that because I had a baby and I wasn't signing my rights over to anybody. And, um... Yeah, I just never had the chance to do all the things that I had, that I wanted to do. Now I realize that wasn't God's plan for me. Those, those were my plans, but those were not what he saw fit for me. So my life went the way he wanted it to go. And I had a baby early. Um, it, I was still with my husband. He was my boyfriend at the time, but... I had a baby early, we stayed together, we got married, we've traveled all over this world, we lived in so many places, good and bad, and that's a lot more than anybody could say, even at the age of 30. The only thing is, I wish I could own a house right now, like that is the biggest, that is my biggest goal. My biggest goal is just to be a homeowner, to live in one place. And I know that is something that a lot of people take for granted, including me. Like, I grew up in a small town, but military background, we moved around a lot. And you never realize how much it sucks for your kids not to, like, really know their cousins, not to grow up around their grandparents. And they love my mom and my dad. They love my husband's mom and his dad. But we're just all over the place. Like, he... I don't know. We're just never in the same spot. And it's very unstable in that manner, but it's very stable what we do. Like, being military life is a stable lifestyle. Um, and it has granted us a lot of things that a lot of other people will never experience. And I am so grateful for that. But at the same time, it's like, I want to own a house. I want to own my own house. I want to do what I want to do with my house. Make adjustments knock down walls if necessary um you know build pools if that's what i want to do and by the time that we'll be able to do that but when my husband's out of the military my oldest son will probably already be out of the house and it i mean it sucks but it is what it is i also feel like i should have not took such a huge break um once I finished nursing school because I was out of school for two years before I went back 
And then it took me a year to get my BSN. And that is because I was being lazy, like legit being lazy. I could have finished it in nine months. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not about to push it. <laughs> and I did it in a year, which is still not bad. But now here I am 30 and I'm just now about to start FMP school. Now, if you would have asked me three years ago, was I going to be an MP? I would have told you, hell no. Um, I didn't have any desire to even go back and get my bachelor's. Like, nursing school was so traumatic. <laughs> and I was just like, nope, I'm not going back to school. I am not going to be an MP. I'm not even going to get my bachelor's. Because the hospital that I worked at at that time, they didn't even require you to have a bachelor's. Legit, I worked with a lady who had her diploma. Like, that's how old she was. And that's how long she had been a nurse. So, I had no desire. But with that... I kind of put myself for what I believe to be behind on the power curve. And when you see PA students in your hospital and they're fucking 24, 25, or you see a new MP coming in around with the doctor and getting introduced to you, and you're like, oh my God, you look so young. And she's all like, I'm 25. You're like, really? And I know everybody's journey is different and everybody's story is different. Everybody, Everybody's background is different, but it is still very hard to not compare. Like, I know there's, you know, people out there, they have no kids, they have no ties to a marriage or anything like that. So it's a lot easier for them to make the decisions and not have to worry about anybody else's input where all of my decisions are based on my family. Thank God I have the most supportive husband. Oh my God. Honestly, I don't know what I would do without him. But I have the most supporting and motivating husband to like just do that shit. Like stop worrying. Because I doubt myself even going back to MP school. Like am I smart enough? Will I be able to do it? Will I be able to pass? And he's like, shut up. You can do it. <laughs> and it's just my own self-doubt. I also want to like travel more, but I know traveling with four people is hella expensive. And when you are trying to save for houses and you're just trying to have a nice ass savings account and a nice ass emergency fund, like you got to work. <laughs> you got to put in, you know, the work to do that. And like I said, I'm not a thousandaire or a millionaire from YouTube. Like YouTube pays me absolutely nothing. I mean, compared to other people, nothing. I'm telling you, I can pay my like my cable bill with it. Um, so YouTube does not do anything for me. This is purely because I love to do it and I love to talk to you guys and help motivate you and stuff. But at the same time, it's like, damn, I want to go on like four trips a year. It's like, I want to travel and take vacations like everybody else. But at the end of the day, I got to make sure my kids are good. I got to make sure my husband is good. I got to make sure home is good. It's I don't know. It's just very hard. And one of the things that I think sometimes about taking like a step back from social media, because I'm very grateful for my life and the things that I have and the people that I have in my life, even though it's not that many people, as you guys see, I don't hang with like friends and stuff. Cause I don't, I don't have friends. Um, I have two in San Antonio. I have Juanita and Anna and I miss them so much. And that's why I cannot wait to like get back to Texas. Um, but other than that, that's kind of it. And being here, I just, I just hate being here. I just did my makeup. Let's just let's just go and get our nails done and do a little bit of shopping. Okay, that's that's what we're gonna get. Do. I am like the worst vlogger, so my battery went dead and I was not able to record after i showed you guys what nail color i picked so i did this like muted pink this isn't pink what the fuck muted yellow 
I'm already regretting it. It is like hella summerish and it's a little too summerish for me, but I was like, you know, it's my birthday. Let's do something different. I'm already regretting it. I'm also eating sour gummy worms because I have not ate all day and it is 351. I think we're gonna go to this hibachi place um tonight. I'm very excited. But anyways. So, I did not vlog when I went to Sephora. And then I also went to Ulta. Because I didn't have a battery. And my phone just charged up enough for me to do this. If you guys didn't know, I vlog with my iPhone. Um, and... Cause I'm not about to buy a $600 camera. I don't even get $600 from YouTube. So, no. $600 can go to my student loan. So, we're going to get iPhone quality for right now. <laughs> uh, got my birthday drink from Starbucks. I'm very, very excited. My allergies are really bad. Thank God my lashes haven't came off. But, that bottom lash line, honey, it's about as well, like, gone. To top it off... I am cramping like a mofo like oh I'm trying to make the best of my birthday it's a Tuesday so I mean it's like not much that I can do anyways but I'm not even tripping I'm not a partier I don't go out to clubs and shit I did a lot of that when I was young and when I actually wasn't club age so I burnt out of that quick but I'll show you guys the stuff that I bought um, my mom is getting me an air fryer that is supposed to come in Friday. I'm very, very excited about that. That's how you know you're getting old. You want appliances. Like, my mom's like, What do you want? An air fryer. Make that happen for me. And I'm happy. I'm gonna just show you guys what I got real quick. Well, it's not gonna be real quick because it's quite a bit of stuff. I'll start with Sephora. I just went into Sephora. I didn't get a lot of stuff in Sephora. And I just noticed that didn't give me my birthday gift. I really don't like the Sephora's that are in JCPenney's. Like, they're never as good as, like, standalone Sephora's. And, yeah, whatever. So, the first thing I got was the Fenty Eyeliner. So, I have been using the Tarte one. Um, this one, the Tartiest in liquid liner like the one that's like a pencil on one side liquid liner on the other side i have been using it for i don't know probably like since it came out <laughs> and um really really like it but y'all know when riri dropped something i needed to get it but i swatched this black liquid liner and i like the fact that it's kind of like a triangle so like to hold it it's like on point and then it's like super super oh, so black it's so pretty so hopefully I like this and hopefully it wears really really well the next thing I got was uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss this one is in toffee so I have been really into lip glosses again if you guys can't tell um, and this one is just like a nudie brown lip gloss that will go with anything Katie or Luster Lux, whatever you guys call her uh, she has been raving about these makeup forever artist color pencils now they're supposed to be multi-use pencils for something else but I got this versatile chestnut and it's the one that's swatched on top right here and it is such a pretty color for the lips especially if you're a brown girl so I was like yes give me that so, the last things I got from Sephora are all of the Too Faced stuff that just dropped. So, you guys know Jackie Yana came out with the Born This Way second launch of the foundation colors. Because, you know, they don't do us brown girls justice ever. Um, so, initially the color that I had was Mahogany. Which, at the time, I believe was the darkest color my Sephora sold in stores. And... This is very, very orange. 
So I went up to Chai, which is actually Jackie Ina's color. And I don't know how that's going to work for me because I feel like Jackie is like way darker than I am. Um, or it could just be me. I don't know. Um, I'm going to swatch them. I'm going to try to swatch them a little bit. But a lot comes out. Um, I could be wrong. I don't know. We could be the same color. This one is Mahogany. And this one is Chai. So as you can see, they're really, really close. But the undertones are different. So I don't know. Maybe it'll work for me. I've always been unimpressed with the Too Faced colors. So hopefully this color works better for me. And then if not, I mean, it is what it is. Um, then I also picked up their concealer this shit was $29 do you hear me now it's huge don't get me wrong this is where's my Laura, Mer my Laura Mercier concealer which I have been loving as well as you can see they're like nowhere close in size but this bad boy is $29 and I got the color maple um just so it can highlight under the eyes um mahogany was actually really light as well it's just that it was too yellow. I got the translucent powder in medium. I've heard really good things about this. I heard it's very comparable to the Laura Mercier translucent powder, which is like bay for me more than anything. Um, even my Sasha Buttercup. Um, but we're going to see. It doesn't have a smell. I like the little sifter on this stuff. That is all that I got from Sephora. And now I'll show you guys the stuff that I actually got from Ulta. Um, I actually went into Ulta just to get some cutting shears. Because I told you guys I need to cut my hair. So I just got some shears. And then I got a round brush. Because I suck at round brushing my hair. But since it's straight, I wanted to see if I could, after I cut my ends, if I can just like bump the ends and blow dry it versus going back over it with a flat iron so i got a round brush and i also got a tangle teaser because i have heard so many good things about this as well and instead of me just like raking through my hair when it is curly i figured i would try this and this one is the one that is actually for thick and curly hair it's the bigger one it's the big red one i've been running a really really low on eyelashes I then i seen these faux mink Ardell lashes and it is a pack of four and these are the 811s and they are so pretty of course they're going to be too long for my eyes so I'm going to have to cut the ends of them but they just look so pretty and I always like the lashes that go from like smaller to big just because I already have little eyes if they're too big they get real drag queen real quick and I'm not about that life I got dry shampoo since my hair is straight um I needed a dry shampoo so I just got the Baptiste uh, tropical dry shampoo and I got it because it smells like coconut I was actually in there spraying all of them because I wanted to see what they all smell like I'm trying to go through this quick because everybody keeps calling me um so then I got two of the adults of colors lip glosses I got on repeat in gold gold is like a clear lip gloss with gold in it and now that I got it I feel like it kind of looks like the Desi Katie lip gloss and I actually still have their whole collection in a box. And I have not even used anything from it. That one is Goals. And this one is on repeat. And this one is just like a muty pink. I follow, I think her name is Drea Vegas. And she was talking about how much she loves this mattifying primer by L'Oreal. Even if she uses higher end foundations because she's oily. So I had to jump on this as soon as I saw that. So I was going to get the Nicole Concilio and Smashbox Coconut Spray Fix, whatever it's called. I don't know the name of it. Um, just because it smells really good. And I can't remember whose video I was watching. Uh, I know she's Caribbean. And I just cannot think of her name right now. So she was talking about it and she was saying how much she loves it. But the thing is, she has combination skin. I was going to give it a try anyways, but then I see Makeup Revolution has a Pro Fix Oil Control Fix Spray. And I am currently out of my MAC Fix Plus. And I've using, been using Mario Badescu and it sets on my face and keeps me from looking powdery. But I do get a lot oilier because of all the ingredients that are that's in that spray. I really don't like to use it to set my face. 
I technically like to use it at night, like after I do my face routine. It was all I had, so that's what I went with. And then since this one is cheaper, I just went with that one. Needing another mascara, I've showed you guys this mascara before. It is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Curvitude. If you have little lashes like me, you definitely need this, and I always get it in blackest black. Last but not least, I got the It's My Ray Ray's palette. I know I'm like the last person on earth to pick this palette up. And every time I go into Ulta, I debate on if I want it or not. I like to support, so I end up getting it anyways. I was like, you know what? Birthday gift to me. I'm going to get it. Um, and I was like, yes, I need these two brown shades right here because your girl need a new bronzer. And then um, this whole middle row right here just screams just screams me right so i end up getting this one anyways and like i said i wanted to support it's my ray ray so yeah that is all the stuff that i <laughs> so we are now at the movies we went to hibachi earlier and we're gonna go see uncle drew i was gonna wait till he came out on like Redbox. But we heard it was actually pretty decent um, and that it was actually good. So this is my birthday and I wanted to see, huh? Yeah. Um, but since I wanted to go to the movies and Uncle Drew is like the last movie that was showing, that's the one we're going to see. My husband just ran out to put some shoes in the car. So we're going to get drinks and then we're going to go see Uncle Drew. And then my birthday is over. Well, I'm going home and drink wine until I pass out. Digi, the schedule busy, my head in a hoodie, my shorty a goodie, my cousins are crazy, my cousins like boogie. Life is amazing, it is what it is.